Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for keeping you waiting. However, the show is about to get started now. So I'm about to introduce you to our official judges this evening, who I should say look really lovely. So first up on our judges panel, we have Jito Kayuma, who is partner at Kukula Capital. If you may stand and just wave at your audience. Zindaba Hansel Azul, who is Zambia 20. Third on the panel, we have Christine Mwaba, who is former Miss Zambia 2013. And lastly on the panel, the woman who's been part of this journey from inception. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth Mwanza, who is national director for the Miss Zambia pageant, and also was Miss Zambia 1992. That's how far she has come. Okay, now that you've finally met your judges, the hour has finally arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love for you to give a round of applause to our top 12 finalists. We can do better, we can do better, guys. So, yeah. Yes, they began up with tea. Ah! Mr. Skills on a mission, did they see on television? Ah! On the low. Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah On the low, ah, put it on me low, ah, yeah On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, brrrre Body, 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 Thank you. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen. Change starts from within. And I believe in being the change I want to see in my community. That's why I came up with an innovative way to recycle and protect my environment. I redesign and recycle old clothing because it's a way of reducing textile waste in our environment. I also volunteer and go in different learning institutions teaching different topics of environmental education because I believe in molding a child in a way that you want them to grow. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mulenga Mumba and I'm a 23-year-old environmentalist, innovator and entrepreneur. Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. Three things forever. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of all love, uh, loving. I stand here for the people that have home for ourselves, but still minimal love is shared. I am Lariska Kalongo, and I am here to win the crown for them. Thank you. So, yeah. Mr. Skills on a mission, did they see on television? On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angela Malenga. I am 22 years old. An interesting fact about me is at the age of eight, I was able to teach myself how to speak English. This life experience made me realize that if I was born to do something on this earth, it was to communicate. I stand tall as a trained journalist, using my voice to advocate for marginalized people within our society. You see, for me, I see media more as a service than a profession. And I say this because we hold the power in our hands to lubricate democracy, as well as bring a call to action to different social challenges within our society. I am living proof of that. I am a trained and certified human rights defender. I use my expertise to travel all around Zambia to advocate for the promotion of human rights. Ladies and gentlemen, I am tired of hearing the narrative of Zambia being a developing nation. I believe this is a story that we need to rewrite. And it starts by eliminating all minority groups within our society. I am a dark-skinned woman, but I have chosen to advocate for persons living with albinism. Because in life, it's simply about humanity. We inevitably have the power to channel our feelings to one another. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see me, always remember that I am a firm believer in social stability. Thank you. So good. Skills on a mission, did they see on television? Ah. On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on Ladies and gentlemen, judges, my name is Ashley Mwanza and I'm a 19 year old and entrepreneur. I advocate strong entrepreneurial skills and development amongst the youth and the children. I believe each and every child should have a skill that they can monetize after they finish school and take themselves to the next level of education. I stand here on behalf of each and every child that feels like they have no one to take them to the next level. I can tell you now that I, with the help of Active Love Foundation, have impacted have impacted over 150 children in community schools and orphanages, helping them develop a skill that they can use to take them back to school. My name is Ashley Mwanza once again. Thank you. So good. Mr. Skills on a mission, did they see on television? On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low. Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me 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 on
Body 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 cari me Sampe Body 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 cari me Sampe Body body Ladies and gentlemen my name is Toriela Kaniki. I recently completed my studies in business administration at the National Institute of Public Administration. I am highly passionate about entrepreneurship and education. I believe using both interchangeably creates a force to reckon with and provides us with luxury, independence, and the fulfillment we all desire. Thank you. Yeah. Este de Ken Petit Ah Rata Young chef ta, 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 ta. Mm. 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 Mr. Skills on a mission Did they see on television ah. On the low Ah Put it on me on the low Ah Yeah On the low Ah Put it on me on the low Ah Yeah On the low Ah Put it on me on the low Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine living in a society that accommodates the ambitions of a girl child living with a disability, of a woman living with a disability. A society that neither discriminates nor stigmatizes persons living with disabilities. A society where a girl child living with a disability, a woman living with a disability has equal opportunities easy access to healthcare services, and has an education. A society where women living with disabilities are taking up space and taking up leadership roles. That is a society that I want to see come to life. I pledge to play my part to ensure that this society comes to life. I am a student, a medical student, an influencer, a motivator, and a role model. My name is Victoria Mulengula and I'm 24 years old. Good evening. So care. Este de que no piti. Ah! Mr. Skills on a mission, did they see on television? Ah. On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low. Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, pre I am a 25-year-old student at Rockview University pursuing my Bachelor's of Education English and Civic Education. I campaign against teenage pregnancies and child marriages. This is because I believe it is one of the most challenges faced by our youth in society. In, I have come up with a Sukani Foundation. It is a platform that is going to allow youth to open up on issues affecting them in society because we believe that youth are the most energetic and innovative group of people in our society today. Thank you. So care. Este de que no piti. Ah. Mr. Skills on a mission. Did they see on television? Ah. On the low. Ah. Put it on me. On the low. Ah. Yeah. On the low. Ah. Put it on me. On the low. Ah. Yeah. On the low. Ah. Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, pre, huh. Body, 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 cutting it, so press. Body, 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 cutting it, so press. Body, 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 cutting it, so press. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Whoopem Fire. I'm 21 years old and I'm working as a nail technician. And I am passionate about bringing awareness to people living with mental illness because I want people to be able to speak on what they feel inside and be able to find a safe haven. Thank you. So, care. Este de que no piti. Ah! Skills on a mission, did they see on television? Ah. On the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, 
put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Vanessa Kangongo, and I am 21 years old. I'm passionate about early childhood education because I believe to say these are the people that are going to take over our generation. I know to say there's not much that we can do for our elderly people, but there's more we can offer to children by investing more knowledge in them and encouraging them and updating them on our current affairs. Following this, I'm one of the founders at Taonga Foundation, Every Soul Counts. Taonga Foundation is a group of young ladies focusing on helping young people, elderly people, and as well as orphans. I mean, orphans, sorry. Thank you. So, get. Este de que no puti. Yo, chef. Mr. Skills on a mission. Did they see on television? On the low. Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, put body, body. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sibusisi Wechirwa. I'm 24 years of age. I'm a rural woman, I'm a rural woman. Activist. I, I, I advocate for rural women under the organization called Rural Women Assembly. Additionally, my energies are inclined towards ad, ad, my energies are inclined towards educating young girls, especially young girls from poverty-stricken areas. This is so because I subscribe to the notion that educating a young girl is an investment in the nation. Thank you. So much. Este de que no puti Yo chef Mr. Skills on a mission Did they see on television On the low, ah Put it on me on the low, ah Yeah, on the low, ah Put it on me on the low, ah Yeah, on the low, ah Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, put it on me Body, 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 cutting it, so perfect. Body, 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 cutting it, so perfect. Body, body, body. Good evening, judges, ladies, and gentlemen. My name is Vanessa Chinyemba. I'm 23 years old, and I advocate for mindset changes that leave a positive impact on our country and the uplifting of standards of living in our community because I believe communities have the potential to help themselves by sharing the resources they have. Thank you. So good. Este de que no puti. Yo, chef. Mr. Skills on a mission. Did they see on television? Put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence is not an act, but a habit. My name is Emma Mwaba. I'm 25 years old, a graduate from the University of Zambia with a bachelor's degree in environmental studies. I'm passionate about the environment and I advocate for sustainable development because I believe that in as much as we try to meet the current state of the country, we shouldn't neglect the future generation. I have come up with a foundation called Shangeni. It focuses on planting trees in schools, also in hospitals, because we are trying to fight climate change and global warming. Thank you. So good. Este de que no puti Yo chef Mr. Skills on a mission Did they see on television? On the low, ah Put it on me on the low, ah Yeah, on the low, ah 
put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, yeah, on the low, ah, put it on me on the low, ah, pre, huh. Body, 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 carine, so perfect. Body, 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 carine, so perfect. Body, 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 carine, so perfect. Carine, carine, so perfect. Body, 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 carine, so perfect. Body, 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 carine, so perfect. Body, 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 carine, so perfect. Carine, carine, so perfect. Set one eighty seven. What's good here? So perfect. Skello, energy. Energy, Body 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 carine, so perfect. Body 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 carine, so perfect. Body 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 carine, so perfect. Carine, carine, so perfect. Body 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 carine, so perfect. Body 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 carine, so perfect. Body 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 carine, so perfect. Carine, carine, so perfect. Zambia, Nigeria, crack the code. So perfect. Ah, young chef, kaka, hey, this stuff is zooming, zoom out. Umuti mana ole puma uti Nisanga love umuti laiti Tetinde kefe until I see More of if you le sela sela If you need bono ni akapela pela Stop it I like it ile kefe onobe Kosho modi longa wako chalobe nde fwafe Nisanfe Amenso Nitanfe Nchinfe ameshe Mbone na katundu amiefo Nisoshe muti tundu chipiepo My journey on the Miss Zambia has been great, overwhelming, it's been a lot of emotions, so it's been, overall it's been a great journey. Um, I remember from the day of the auditions, I remember my friend, my friend's older sister was like, yo, I'm going for auditions, do you guys want to go with me? I'm like, okay. I auditioned, it was nerve wracking. I got through it and I went home. It was great starting to work with other people, other girls with different personalities, putting ideas together, sharing ideas and all that. But it was overwhelming because we were pitching on something that we had never like really tapped into and that was fashion. That was our category. We were in the bottom two. I remember bottom five, I was one of them. It was sad at that point. I'm like, first challenge, I'm going back home. Then we had the second challenge, and that was the policy or the governance challenge. It was hard. That one was was tough. But it was very tough because we were literally ministers in ministries that we've never. I literally didn't know about it until that actual day. But with the four of us, we managed to come through. Now that I am at the finale, I'm excited. I'm overwhelmed. I'm scared. It's everything like it's a whole mixed emotions i just hope for the best and i know i'll do my best and i'll i'll rock the stage Kiki 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 sekilamo bantu 
Nibele sheka sheka nevyo moneka Shitina pa umutima no kutobeka Nalipiri la chapa wewe someka Undange pa madimbo dimbo yobeka Nda koko mbako na kufaya futi Koko tema ninchi tondi pa chuti Samoto kakono makoli wa buti Pali wa beauty pa menso futi cuti Laichi wena Freshi agachena Matati piti funka monina Alibako hati kwa tigugena She's too hot, isn't it chic? Long hair, imi shi 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 shi. Nadi se kela mo ki 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 chi chi kelo ba kambe mo i chi chi chi. Puti fully made, puti bubu. Ya wamo na yo puti kuya kuwe. Sex sex sex, ali tila suju. Wamo chile kumbo neka tita pike uko. Hello, choose international. Hello, choose international. Hello, young change. Commander, the chula we no pan in commander. Fish you mwinga landa, nangu pa fit esha nintilu. Commander, the chula. Jane uses my ride. Be like Jane. No need to worry. My ride gets you there on time. You dream of your first diploma, your first degree, your first master's degree. You dream of relieving the stress of your guardians of having to pay huge chunks of money just to get you through school. And yes, you can see very big smiles on the faces of the people that you care about the most. Now don't just dream it, play it. Play the lotto game that will make your dreams come true. Zambian Lotto, don't just dream it. Play it. Good evening. Oh. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, with me on stage, I'm Kutsam and this is Mordecai, and uh, we'll be entertaining you for this acoustic break with a few songs. This one is not... So many talents have ascended to this throne, displaying dignity, elegance, humility, and intellect. Powerful, yet delicate. The crown comes with it a great responsibility as you become Zambia's ambassador to the world. Wearing this crown is not about you. It's about what you can do for others and the country at large. Use this power to bring about positive change and remember to be your sister's keeper. The search for the Miss Zambia is about finding a person who is both neutral, socially conscious, and for the promotion of Zambia, both at home and abroad. So, will you be the next Miss Zambia? 
rappers behind the beat with any other guy. Yeah. This show is fire now, why would I lie? Yeah. What's up, what's up? It's Dash on the beat. Like a Mr. the final is on a film beat, you shot. It's a magician. On Moza TV, chilling, hey. a K army with Killer KB. With this man is on. Behind the beat with me, Ernie, other guy. <laughs> Gentlemen, first of all, I would like for you to give a round of applause to our top 12 finalists. Guys, you can do better. <laughs> Thank you. Also, a round of applause for that beautiful acoustic performance. <laughs> okay, guys, so in the meantime, an usher will be coming to your table and aid you to where you'll be able to get your food. And also you'll be enjoying the music from the DJ in the meantime. So enjoy. Woman, true African powerful woman. Let me hear one more time. It's a brother who ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, no, no. My name is Roberto. Southern and General Ozanana. Bless that African woman. Rich skin tone, my woman. True African proud woman, rise up African woman. Definition of a partner, grind so hard she a hustler. You think you're the head of the house, but she a backbone of the whole plan. Everything so nice, body shape so fine. Wise enough to be a ruler, this is African I'm So blessed, I drink water straight from the basin. Beauty like Kilimanjaro oh. African woman rocks An African woman rocks African woman rocks It's not been simple But that's something that I'm going to be working out with And that's something that I've really led I've had great achievements Had low moments where With our first presentation That was something like That didn't work out for me And I felt like that was the moment That I was going to go home And that was the moment that was just well, that was just going to cut me off but with the right words and the right strings put together I felt like okay I did this and I needed to come back with something that's good 
I had to bring back my A game and nailed the second challenge that we had that I think has brought me this far and I've managed to make it to the top 12 and that's one of the greatest achievements that I've made. Knowing that this is my first pageant, I feel like this is something great for me. It's a great startup for me. My journey through Miss Zambia. First of all, I'm very thankful to God for giving me the courage and the strength to have made it this far and to be who I am because without him, I wouldn't be anywhere. First of all, when I auditioned for Miss Zambia, I wasn't really sure I wanted to do it because at some point I had low self-esteem because I rebranded myself and I wanted to leave my authentic truth and be who I am. But it takes time to change. It takes time to be who you are. So I did this not only for myself, but for every girl out there trying to leave their authentic self and be who they are and thrive in their space. That's why I auditioned for Miss Zambia to show every creative, every person, every beautiful person, you are beautiful the way you are and continue being who you are. What you deserve is definitely coming to you. Some of my favorite highlights in Miss Zambia were the challenges that we were given. They were difficult, but I learned quite a lot. It was amazing for me. I was in finance and then the next time I was in the commerce category. So I kept asking myself, why am I being found in these different groups? So I figured I needed to learn more. That's where my strengths actually came out because I had to push myself to the limit and do the best and be the best I can and come through for my sisters during the pageant and also be the best self I can be and come through for the group. I don't know what happened along the way, but the low self-esteem got cut. Events Africa, we are live on Mozo TV and you can join in on the conversation on all of our social media platforms. Our top top finalists are about to grace you and show you an interpretation of our heritage. This is got through a representative and their own of our own through nation. And this will be done through fabric interpretation. So, ladies and gentlemen, I would like for you to give a very warm welcome to our top 12 finalists. Make some noise, guys. Yeah. Uh, 
remember you can still send through your predictions we are live on all social media platforms let us know who you think might just be crowned your queen for the evening ladies and gentlemen one last time give it up for our final 12 finalists <laughs> Jumbo, 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 you eat a jumbo. When they, when they, nobody my love. I think you will never see the ass. Give it to you like a dun dada. Buy you what you want, that's no call, brother. Compra la luna contigo. You can have my liver, be my key. Olo style on the pata pata. Mungani shinke, mungani pata. You the general, I'm the soldier. Take my heart, yeah. you can take it over, na na. When I tell you that the ship is in the Samson, if you're taking the fruits, I don't feel the tension. Then I go pay the fiance, go with the condition. My baby doll, you can do anything to me. And then go need no money, ma. Look at me, baby, if I got no money, ma. We know we know one, go get you too, ma. Baby doll, you can do anything to me. My journey at New Zambia has been amazing. It's something that I wouldn't regret. I remember my journey started on the 6th of November when I traveled all the way from Kasumbalesa to Lusaka to audition because the auditions were on the 7th of November. So I was called for the second audition. It wasn't really nice because like, it was so nerve-wracking. My favorite moments at Miss Zambia were to meet the amazing girls from different circles of life um, who have been able to articulate issues differently. I've been able to learn things that I didn't know. But the most challenging part was when we were selected into groups and we had few um, tasks that we were doing. At a certain time, we were told to formulate um, policies I'm making it through to Miss Zambia Grand Finale. I'm really overwhelmed. I'm grateful and humbled. It was a 50-50 thing. I really didn't know if I was going to make it to the finale or I was going to drop out or maybe eliminated because I was put in a group of um, 20 girls who were really smart and really amazing. So we kind of, we were bonding because we were sharing different ideas. I really didn't think I was going to make it, but in some other way, I also thought I was going to make it because I was putting my time. And I believed in myself and I knew that I was in this to win this. I'm really happy that I've made it this far. And hopefully, God willing, I get the crown. My journey in the Miss Zambia pageant has been a roller coaster ride. I've had my best moments and I've had my worst moments. Starting from the audition day, I didn't really think I was going to make it into top 20. The experience then was a little bit nerve wracking. The questions, I'm glad I was able to handle everything at that time. The time they called us back, uh, they told us they were going to have a second audition. And then they put us in lines. I remember they told some of us that we didn't make it at that time. I remember breaking down and feeling really bad that I didn't actually make it to top 20. But then, hey, it was a prank at the end of the day. And from that moment on, I knew the opportunity was rare 
and that I had to put in my ore. Then we came to our first group challenge, which was um, to pitch in business ideas. That experience in itself was a little bit challenging for me because I had to be able to accommodate other people's opinions. I'm used to being the one airing out all the opinions and stuff, but I had to understand one thing, it was group work and I had to accommodate other people's opinions. And I also learned to keep my time. Not so many times a girl like me would actually make it to a talk pageant like this one. But I am ready to give you everything that constitutes me on that final day. I think I have prepared myself for the longest time. It has been like 14 years when I watched uh, Miss World, but now I am in it, Miss Zambia pageant. And on the final day, um, I'm going to give it my best and give it my all. It hasn't been easy, but I'm not easy either. I'm bringing in my A game and everything I've learned I'm putting together is going to be a whole different experience altogether. And I think people should be ready for me because I have a lot to show. My journey through Miss Zambia has been a, a mixture of emotions, a mixture of high and low moments. I had actually escorted somebody for the auditions and thought to say, okay, maybe let me try and just have some fun and try and audition. <laughs> well, little did I know that I was going to be picked and having been picked for me was one of my high moments. I didn't expect that. It was stressful at some point because we had to work within a short time frame and give out the best of what we could, which was a little bit challenging for, for me. Being that I'm a first timer with regards to participating in pageants and I actually don't usually wear heels. I found it, it, it got to my head sometimes to think, to say, well, do you think you really belong here? Do you think you would do quite well? However, I, I sat myself down and encouraged myself. I spoke to myself and told myself to say, for me to reach this far, I, I believe I have qualities that can reach me to the crown. And I believe so long as I put in effort, I will be unstoppable. Aside from having to go for the much contested crown, I'm also taking on the stage to win myself from fear. I'm also taking the stage to, to continue what I started because that's where winning starts from, finishing my journey. And for me, that's everything. I believe I've got what it takes to get to the crown. My confidence and my courage is the energy that I need. Imagine learning and earning points and rewards by doing your work with your kids at home. Your kids can play, you can play, everyone can play. What's going on with the two of you? You've been on the phone too much lately. Mommy, it's just homework. Let me show you. You can assess homework on your web or you can download the app on your mobile phone. The homework comes with unlimited educational content starting from primary to high school level. This is not for kids only. Parents, you can also play and still assess the work done by your kids. Do you even remember what one plus one is upon all the work stress you had? <laughs> Revise your lockdown knowledge. So download the homework app today and earn points and rewards from the comfort of your home. The homework, an exciting way to learn and earn. The homework is available in Zambia. Starting 4th of January 2021, Mozo TV will bring to you a refreshing entertainment experience with a lineup of exciting content. Wake up to a great start every Monday morning with our energizing and refreshing Mozo Breakfast Cafe. 
Stay up to date with everything happening in your society by catching Community Lens every Tuesday. On Woman Crush Wednesday, we shine a light on women making strides in hills as we celebrate women in music. What would a Thursday be without a throwback? Join us every Thursday as we look back at some of the greatest moments in entertainment on our daily throwback show. Allow us to get you in party mode as you get jiggy with us by jamming to the latest Afrobeats on Mozo Top 10 every Friday. After all the fun on Friday night, you are bound to wake up craving a meal. Learn how to make delicious meals by catching Born Hungry every Saturday. End your week filled with praise and thanksgiving by catching Gospelicious every Sunday. Mozo TV, a refreshing experience. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister companies Oats Experience, Platinum Events, and Mozo TV. Our vision is to build relevance, revenue and sustainability through a socially responsible business model. Through Alts Experience, we have launched a graduate project with help from our partners Access Bank and the National Youth Development Council, NYDC. We hope to award deserving students scholarships to aid them successfully attain their graduate studies. Through Mozo TV, our company has and continues to give back to the community through the Giving Back campaign. This campaign, with the help of society, identifies those people that need help in our communities. With the little help we have, we spread love and cheer by helping out these persons and families. Under Platinum Events, we support the arts industry and push for the uplifting of art and entertainment in Zambia. From the Africa Hip Hop Awards to the prestigious Miss Zambia, we ensure that the youth have a safe place to showcase their talent. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister companies Oats Experience, Platinum Events, and Mozo TV. Our vision is to build relevance, revenue, and sustainability through a socially responsible business model. Through Oats Experience, we have launched a graduate project with help from our partners Access Bank and the National Youth Development Council, NYDC. We hope to award deserving students scholarships to aid them successfully attain their graduate studies. Through Mozo TV, our company has and continues to give back to the community through the Giving Back campaign. This campaign, with the help of society, identifies those people that need help in our communities. With the little help we have, we spread love and cheer by helping out these persons and families. Under Platinum Events, we support the arts industry and push for the uplifting of art and entertainment in Zambia. From the Africa Hip Hop Awards to the prestigious Miss Zambia, we ensure that the youth have a safe place to showcase their talent. Imagine learning and earning points and rewards by doing your work with your kids at home. Your kids can play, you can play, everyone can play. What's going on with the two of you? You've been on the phone too much lately. Mom, it's just homework. Let me show you. You can assess homework on your web or you can download the app on your mobile phone. The homework comes with unlimited educational content starting from primary to high school level. This is not for kids only. Parents, you can also play and still assess the work done by your kids. Do you even remember what one plus one is upon all the work stress you had? <laughs> Revise your lockdown knowledge, so download the Homework app today and earn points and rewards from the comfort of your home. The Homework, an exciting way to learn and earn. The Homework is available in Zambia. We understand the world has not been on a normal parallel for some time now. But we are sure of one thing. Life and business must go on carefully. Our business form the basic part of our daily lifestyle. It is what pays our bills and keeps us smiling through the hard work we put out. It makes our families happy and secure. The medium and small scale business you own and manage mean a lot to us. As Mozo TV, we intend to reach out and help you stand firm during this period. Starting from Zambia and spreading to the rest of the world, we want to give you free commercial adverts play on our premium channel for a period of three months. Oh, great. Good news, right? We are affiliated with TV stations across four corners of the African continent, like Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya. 
We are available on pay TV and free to air channels like Topstar. Mozo TV is sending you so much love this season. Reach out to us via our listed email and platforms on your screen. Book your brand now. Mozo TV, a truly refreshing experience. We understand the world has not been on a normal parallel for some time now. But we are sure of one thing. Life and business must go on carefully. Our business forms the basic part of our daily lifestyle. It is what pays our bills and keeps us smiling through the hard work we put out. It makes our families happy and secure. The medium and small scale business you own and manage mean a lot to us. Starting 4th of January 2021, Mozo TV will bring to you a refreshing entertainment experience with a lineup of exciting content. Wake up to a great start every Monday morning with our energizing and refreshing Mozo Breakfast Cafe. Stay up to date with everything happening in your society by catching Community Lens every Tuesday. On Woman Crush Wednesday, we shine a light on women making strides in hills as we celebrate women in music. What would a Thursday be without a throwback? Join us every Thursday as we look back at some of the greatest moments in entertainment on our daily throwback show. Allow us to get you in party mode as you get jiggy with us by jamming to the latest Afro beats on Mozo Top 10 every Friday. After all the fun on Friday night, you are bound to wake up craving a meal. Learn how to make delicious meals by catching Born Hungry every Saturday. End your week filled with praise and thanksgiving by catching Gospelicious every Sunday. Mozo TV.
your life, my child. May your dreams come true, my child. Can you write it down? Can you write it down? Are you guys having an amazing time this evening? Guys, make some noise. The top 12 are about to brace you with another costume change. They're about to do another presentation, but you guys need to remember that a Miss Zambia is a socially conscious person who remains Zambia's ambassador to the world. So the ladies have spoken, they've told you values they stand for, they have shown you their representation of the national flag through their garments, and right about now, they're about to brace you on stage. So I would like for you to make a warm welcome to our top 12 finalists as they showcase their traditional outfits. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, sorry, just a quick announcement. Um, the person driving the car, ALK7091, please make your way outside. The number plate, ALK7091. A refreshing experience. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister company. <laughs> Unlike many other traditional ceremonies, the Kulamba traditional ceremony is so unique such that it is reserved under the British Conservation Council and attracts three different Saudi countries. And therefore, uh, providing an opportunity for Zambia to showcase and grow its tourism sector. And it also uh, provides an opportunity for regional integration. During the ceremony, the dance that is performed called the Gule Wamkulu. This dance is of relevance because it teaches people to have good morals and have peace and serenity. Therefore, my message to every Zambian out there, during the 2021 general elections, let us put our weapons down and fight and, and vote in a free and fair manner because every life is important and every life matters. Tiende pamo zindim ti maumo Tiende pamo zindim ti maumo
Mulitiani, Mwachaziauli, Mulishani. Zambia is full of beautiful cultures, but today I represent the Bemba. I am dressed in an outfit that is used during a celebration called Tongosa. Tongosa is a temporary dance that is originated from an indigenous dance called Miela. It is normally danced and when celebrated, it makes people happy. I hope I make you happy as I demonstrate. and diverse nation. We have over 72 tribes. Today, I hail all the way from Northwestern province, representing the Mbunda people. I am a princess, ladies and gentlemen. The piece I am holding in my hand is what my people refer to as Munsakai. When you hear this sound, be aware that immense beauty is approaching you. A young woman like myself from the Mbunda people is supposed to be secluded when she comes of age. It is important where I come from to ensure that you grow a family. The skirt that I am wearing is called Sizomba and it signifies a woman of intelligence and power. I am proud to be from royalty, ladies and gentlemen, and I do believe you have the privilege of seeing me tonight. Thank you. gentlemen. The Lunda tribe is a very rich tribe. From a young age, we instill values of respect and honor in our people. I stand here as a Lunda princess from the northwestern province. My, my costume speaks widely of the tribe's, pardon me, sorry. My costume speaks widely of what a princess of the Lunda people should wear. Every August, we meet in the Northwestern province to practice the Lunda Lubanza ceremony where we seclude the girls who have come of age and teach them the values that they must know as they are growing up. This is how we show respect at the ceremony. Yeah. 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 
growing modern economy, it is important that we preserve our heritage for it is our national identity. Tonight, I am presenting the Vibunza dancers. The Vibunza is a traditional healing dance performed among the Tumbuka people. It's a strong manifestation of the Ngoma practice among the Bantu-speaking Africa. As we grow with modernity, let us remember our heritage for it is who we are. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I am here representing the Luvalu people of Northwestern Province. I am in a makishi. It is a taboo to refer to it as an outfit. The makishi is worn by boys or males aged 8 to 10 during an initiation ceremony known as the Likumbilia music. They are circumcised in this ceremony and are isolated from society for three months. After that, they then uprise from the dead. The mask that I'm wearing represents the spirits of the ancestors of the Luvalu people. This ceremony is greatly celebrated for the young men as they have crossed over to adulthood. Thank you. Ya ni de bonito pa' bombe 
This beautiful traditional outfit I'm wearing is worn by the Nsenga people of Eastern Province during a traditional ceremony called Nsongwe. It is worn by young ladies who've come of age. During this period, the young ladies are secluded and are taught how to take care of a family, a husband, good morals, hard work, and how to live in good harmony with people in society. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I represent the Lozi people. The Lozi people are a proud and, com and have a complex history with over approximately 900,000 people. And they're the only tribe that have a king instead of a chief. And I am wearing a Musisi that is worn during the Komboka, Luitu Mezi. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I believe to say we're living in a modern society and this is the new generation that we're living up to. But I believe to say we should always remember to go back to our roots. This is our generation, that this is, this is one thing that puts us on the map. Tonight I represent the Luvala people of the northern west, northwestern province of Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the ceremony called Mwali. Mwali is a ceremony that takes place when a young girl comes of age. They are separated from their family members and they are put in a different place to learn certain things that they can practice when they grow up. Tonight I present to you, I present to you the dance called Chianda. Chianda is a dance that is taught to young ladies and simply it's just a dance that helps you learn the flexibility of your body and how you can learn and practice other things. This is a dance that is performed a day before you go back home. I pray to say, may young ladies learn from me and learn how to portray themselves in the near future. Thank you. So 
ladies and gentlemen. To remind you of my names, my name is Asibusisi Wechirwa. I present to you one of Zambia's beautiful traditions, a practice that stems from the Tonga-speaking people. This practice is basically when a girl attains puberty, she is secluded into a home, into a home for at least one month, during which Elderly women teach her various morals. These morals include, but are not limited to, cooking, how to prepare Tonga cuisine. She's taught how to cultivate. She is taught how to, how to keep up with her marriage. When the elderly women are convinced that this young lady has apprehended their teachings, she has learned what they have taught her, they call for a feast they plan a feast. During this feast, the young girl is dressed to her best. At this feast, she is placed on the high table. She sits at the high table with the elderly women, including a young helper called Kalinda. This helper is basically a young lady who assisted the elders with small things like taking water to the young lady in the secluded house. During the feast, the guests dance. However, you must note that the young girl is not allowed to dance. During the feast, during the feast, <laughs> during the feast, the young girl is not allowed to dance. However, it is at this point that she's more, she's more of showcased to attract a potential husband. At the end of the feast, she's taken back to the house. The following day, she's, she's unleashed back to the, the society. <laughs> of what the young girl wears at the feast is what I'm wearing from head to toe. Thank you. I am representing a princess from the Duvala people of Northwestern Province. When a girl comes of age, she then becomes a candidate of Mwali, which is a school that symbolizes the transition of a girl from childhood to adulthood. One who has, one who has learned all the important lessons and is ready to be integrated into the society as a woman. This culture cannot be undermined, as it is a component of the Zambian people and a unique attribute of our splendor. Thank you. Good evening once again. This traditional outfit that I'm wearing is inspired by Ngoni warrior. 
It is one at the entrance ceremony. The main emphasis of this ceremony is to give thanks after a successful harvest. It is celebrated in February 5th. We are pieces of our culture and that's what defines us. Thank you. again um, we are back um, for this musical break with a few songs when your legs don't work like they used to before and I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will 
your eyes to smile from your cheeks Cause darling I will be loving you till we're 70 Yeah, I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways. Maybe just a touch of a hand. And me, I fall in love with you every single day. I just want to show you I am. So baby now Take me into your loving arms Oh yeah Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars Place your head on my beating heart Thinking now, now that we found love right away Don't remember my name. Whoa. When my hands don't play the strings the same, mm, yeah. I know you will still love me the same. Baby, you're so evergreen. It's evergreen. Baby, you're. And I 
don't stress out in there Cause us being here is not an accident Cause I'll be standing on your doorstep Light harder than the sunset Just sitting here hoping You come to me Cause I'm up and holding I'll still be here in the morning Cause I'll be sitting here hoping You come to me We could be amazing We could be amazing I want you And we could be amazing of your first diploma, your first degree, your first master's degree. You dream of relieving the stress of your guardians of having to pay huge chunks of money just to get you through school. And yes, you can see very big smiles on the faces of the people that you care about the most. Now don't just dream it, play it. Play the lotto game that will make your dreams come true. Zambian Lotto, don't just dream it. Play it. Companies Oats Experience, Platinum Events, and Mozo TV. Our vision is to build relevance, revenue, and sustainability through a socially responsible business model. Through Oats Experience, we have launched the graduate project with help from our partners Access Bank and the National Youth Development Council, NYDC. We hope to award deserving students scholarships to aid them successfully attain their graduate studies. Through Mozo TV, our company has and continues to give back to the community through the Giving Back campaign. This campaign, with the help of society, identifies those people that need help in our communities. With the little help we have, we spread love and cheer by helping out these persons and families. Under Platinum Events, we support the arts industry and push for the uplifting of art and entertainment in Zambia. From the Africa Hip Hop Awards to the prestigious Miss Zambia, 
we ensure that the youth have a safe place to showcase their talent. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister companies Oats Experience, Platinum Events and Mozo TV. Our vision is to build relevance, revenue and sustainability through a socially responsible business model. Through Oats Experience, we have launched the Graduate Project with help from our partners Access Bank and the National Youth Development Council, NYDC. We hope to award deserving students scholarships to aid them successfully Imagine learning and earning points and rewards by doing your work with your kids at home. Your kids can play, you can play, everyone can play. What's going on with the two of you? You've been on the phone too much lately. Mommy, it's just homework. Let me show you. You can assess homework on your web or you can download the app on your mobile phone. The homework comes with unlimited educational content starting from primary to high school level. This is not for kids only. Parents, you can also play and still assess the work done by your kids. Do you even remember what 1 plus 1 is upon all the work stress you had? <laughs> Revise your lockdown knowledge. So download the homework app today and earn points and rewards from the comfort of your home. The homework, an exciting way to learn and earn. Starting 4th of January 2021, Mozo TV will bring to you a refreshing entertainment experience with a lineup of exciting content. Wake up to a great start. Starting 4th of January 2021, Mozo TV will bring to you a refreshing entertainment experience with a lineup of exciting content. Wake up to a great start every Monday morning with our energizing and refreshing Mozo Breakfast Cafe. Stay up to date with everything happening in your society by catching Community Lens every Tuesday. On Woman Crush Wednesday, we shine a light on women making strides in hills as we celebrate women in music. What would a Thursday be without a throwback? Join us every Thursday as we look back at some of the greatest moments in entertainment on our daily throwback show. Allow us to get you in party mode as you get jiggy with us by jamming to the latest Afrobeats on Mozo Top 10 every Friday. After all the fun on Friday night, you are bound to wake up craving a meal. Learn how to make delicious meals by catching Born Hungry every Saturday. End your week filled with praise and thanksgiving by catching Gospelicious every Sunday. Mozo TV, a refreshing experience. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister companies Oats. I am the one for you. They don't know what we've been through when I knew. But yes, I go on ya. I found a good deal of yanya. They don't know what we've been through when I knew. Now tell me, do you remember, baby? Yes, I go down, baby. I brought you letters. I got you good. I brought you flowers. It's a journey. Ladies and gentlemen, how's your evening going so far? Are you guys enjoying yourselves? A little bit of some noise, guys. Give me some energy. Much better. We'd like to thank our sponsors this evening. My Ride Zambia, Shodo Beauty Cosmetics, Minor Hotels, 
and so many more sponsors that came on board to make this particular event a success. Now remember, Ms. Zambia is somebody that has voice, elegance, and possesses a lot of intellect. So with that said, the Miss Zambia ladies are about to showcase their evening wear. Keep in mind that all of the designs that will be showcased this evening are by local designers. So a round of applause and make some noise for our final 12 contestants. Contestant number one, the beautiful Molenga Mumba dressed by Faye Designs. Ladies and gentlemen, Contestant number two, Loriska Kalongo, dressed in international Africa.
sonde o bobo ati mwene chaya na ukupata mu kafwa ni we watumwa mukumpere sasa lo lupwa ulingolu kombo contestant number 5 turiela dressed by dated dolls A round of applause for contestant number six, Victoria Molengola, dressed by Queen of Chitenge. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for contestant number seven, Taonga Zimba. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for contestant number eight, Rupe Mufaya. A round of applause for contestant number nine, Vanessa Kamongo, dressed by Faye Designs.
Bakupange sonde o bobo Pachi mwene chaya na ukupata mo Kafwa ni we watumwa Mukumpere sasa lolupwa Mulingolu kombo Contestant number 10 everybody Sibu sisi wechirwa Dressed by International Africa, give it up for Vanessa Chinyamba. Dressed in dated dolls, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Emma Mwaba. What you feel, feel 
gentlemen, please give a round of applause to all of the designers represented on this stage. We have designs by Faye Designs, Dainty Dolls, Interfashional Africa and Queen of Chitenga represented on this stage. And all of these designers are local designers. This beautiful piece is being represented on the stage right now. So a round of applause one more time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so right after the ladies get off stage, the judges have a daunting decision to trim the number down to the top six contestants. So fingers crossed for everybody that you're supporting. And if you're watching us from wherever you're catching us from right now, join us on social media. We are live on Mozo TV Africa on all of our social media platforms. A big thank you to our sponsors as well. Zambian Lotto, My Ride Zambia, Minor Hotels, Namayo at work. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. <laughs>
My journey on the road to Miss Zambia has been a roller coaster of emotions, really. Um, I'm so, I feel so blessed to have made it this far. And the challenges, wow, the challenges were quite something. I learned um, you can really ha achieve so much more if you like work together as a team. Hard work really pays off. So I was um, in one of the uh, winning teams, Waste Management. We won. <laughs> that was pretty exciting, you know. We, we really put in so much just so we could bring out the best presentation and we surely did the thing because we won. And then one of the other exciting challenges was the ones the one we had with Shodo. That was also quite interesting. To be honest, I <laughs> I wasn't feeling well on, on that particular day. You know, I was late, I was just not in you know, not in it, but the moment um, the camera was rolling, the moment I had to take my shoot, I just, I don't know what came over me and I was the winner of the challenge. I'm so proud of myself to have really made it this far. Really, I don't think I'll be the same person after this whole experience. It has really made me focus on what I want to aspire to be and what I want to contribute to the society even after this whole pageant. So I am definitely going to be a different person after this and I'm so, so proud. I am so overwhelmed with so much joy. Starting 4th of January 2021, Mozo TV will bring to you a refreshing entertainment experience with our lineup of exciting content. Wake up to a great start every Monday morning with our energizing and refreshing Mozo Breakfast Cafe. Stay up to date. Shadow Beauty Store, Mina Hotels, and My Ride Zambia. We are powered by Platinum Events, and remember, we are live on Mozo TV. Jezebel Running it With everything happening in your society by catching Community Lens every Tuesday On Woman Crush Wednesday, we shine a light on women making strides in hills as we celebrate women in music What would a Thursday be without a throwback? Join us every Thursday as we look back at some of the greatest moments in entertainment on our daily throwback show Allow us to get you in party mode as you get jiggy with us by jamming to the latest Afro beats on Mozo Top 10 every Friday. After all the fun on Friday night, you are bound to wake up craving a meal. Learn how to make delicious meals by catching Born Hungry every Saturday. End your week filled with praise and thanksgiving by catching Gospelicious. It's been a very interesting journey for me. First of all, for a very, very long time, I knew that one day I would participate in Miss Zambia and I took it upon myself to prepare way before the pageant could actually restart. And when it actually restarted, auditions were amazing. I was kind of scared because actually they gave a limit to height. <laughs> and when I saw the limit, I said, no, no. I am going with I'm shorter than this. I'm actually 168. Uh, and the limit was 170. So I said, no matter what, two uh, centimeters would not hinder me from being the next Miss Zambia. I know how much it took me to actually prepare for this. And during this journey, I met a lot of beautiful ladies. It has been 
really crazy somehow because I've never really been in a situation where we've had eliminations, like every challenge you're eliminated. So it was really new for me. And when they were eliminated, it was, I was really, I don't know, I was stuck in between. In as much as I felt I prepared, but there's just that element of, did I really do it? Um, is it me leaving today? <laughs> All the groups I was in actually won like number one position and I feel that's because we worked as winners we worked together we actually understood what teamwork was so going ahead I'm really excited because I'm ready to carry this crown I'm ready to go to the next step and next level and just show Zambia um, that I'm going to be a very responsible and great Miss Zambia My journey on the road to Miss Zambia has been very exciting. I came to learn a lot of things that I didn't know about. Being a first timer and having made it this far really makes me feel proud of myself. I didn't think I was going to get this far. Uh, along the way, there were challenges that were given to us and they were very much nerve-wracking, but I'm glad we pulled through. So I feel so proud of myself right now. The road to Miss Zambia, I've come to learn a lot about teamwork, about commitment, about sharing. Uh, it's not easy dealing with different uh, personalities among us, the ladies, but uh, all in all, we got to understand each other and worked hand in hand to see th things uh, pull through. I am so proud of myself and I know this is my opportunity to showcase what I am made of. I want everyone out there with low self-esteem to believe in themselves that they too can do it. Thank you. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister companies Oats Experience, Platinum Events and Mozo TV. Our vision is to build relevance revenue and sustainability through a socially responsible business model. Through Oats Experience, we have launched the Graduate Project with help from our partners Access Bank and the National Youth Development Council, NYDC. We hope to award deserving students. My journey through Miss Zambia has been an interesting one. Um, I think the most interesting part was getting to know the girls. So basically from the first day of auditions, I saw that there was a lot of competition. And that's what I thought. But the people who I thought were gonna be picked were not picked in the first place. Then we were 20, then we were 12. So when we had our first challenge, my biggest lesson learned was cooperation. No one can work as an independent person. And I, th I think the girls have really taught me that that's very important. Though I didn't win any prize, I still got away with that lesson. Uh, second challenge, same thing, different girls. I got to interact with them more. And interacting with them made me discover more of who I am. Everyone is interdependent in this competition. The Miss Zambia brand is a really big brand. And I just feel really grateful actually for making it this far. In the beginning, I was confident and I knew I was going to make it this far. Now I'm getting to see how good my fellow beauty queens really are and the competition is getting tougher. But I'm still grateful to God for bringing me this far and let's see what happens. The journey has been really amazing. It has grown me into a strong and confident woman. It has given me a platform to showcase to the world what I'm about and what I want the world to know about me and some of the things that I feel should be brought attention to in our society. And regardless of what happens at the end of the day, I will always be a person that went through the journey of Miss Zambia. And should I become Miss Zambia? I know it's going to be a roller coaster again, but it will definitely be exciting. It will definitely be that brain that everyone wants to be a part of because that's the type of person that I am. 
I'm just a person who celebrates myself and allows people to be comfortable and grow from the type of person that I am. Imagine learning and earning points and rewards by doing your work with your kids at home. Your kids can play, you can play, everyone can play. What's going on with the two of you? You've been on the phone too much lately. Lamit, yes, homework. Let me show you. You can assess homework on your web or you can download the app on your mobile phone. The homework comes with unlimited educational content starting from primary to high school level. This is not for kids only. Parents, you can also play and still assess the work done by your kids. Do you even remember what one plus one is upon all the work stress you had? <laughs> Revise your lockdown knowledge. So download the homework app today and earn points and rewards from the comfort of your home.
You dream of your first diploma, your first degree, your first master's degree. You dream of relieving the stress off your guardians of having to pay huge chunks of money just to get you through school. And yes, you can see very big smiles on the faces of the people that you care about the most. Now don't just dream it, play it. Play the lotto game, that will make your dreams come true. Zambian Lotto, don't just dream it, play it. gentlemen I am back and I am holding the results of the top six names that will make it through to the next round of the competition so I would just love to ask the top top finalists to join me on stage A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Motivate the girls as they walk on stage. Thank you so much, ladies. So I would just like to make mention that even as I announce the top six, for those of you that will not make it, you need to realize that this is not the end of the road for you. You have come a long way, and the audience will agree with me that you did tremendously well this evening. So I would like to applaud you girls for a great job done. Okay, so if I call your name, you have to join me, you have to step forward. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so these names are in no particular order. So the first lady through and making it to the top six is Vanessa Chinyemba. The second contestant through is Angela Malenga. The third contestant to make it to the top six is Emma Mwaba. And the next lady to join the ladies in the top six is Victoria. The fifth lady making the cut through to the top six is Ashley Mwanza. And the last contestant to be joining the five ladies standing before us is
Lariska Kangongo. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you your top six. Thank you so much to the ladies at the back. You have done tremendously well for yourselves. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We are going straight into the crucial part of the competition, which is the question and answer. So the ladies standing before me will each pick a question from a bowl. I will read out the question asked by the judges seated before us. And the ladies are given 30 seconds to answer the questions. Good luck, ladies. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges. My question is, what lesson is best taught to a child? I believe that the best lesson to be taught to a child is love. When a child grows up knowing love and understanding love, they know how to treat others in future. They know how to relate with others in future. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lariska. Okay, so Ashley, your question this evening is, what is the one quality that you have that would change Miss Zambia for the better? Thank you so much for the question. The one quality that I possess that would change Miss Zambia forever is the ability to put others before myself. I believe that given the chance to win Miss Zambia, I will advocate for people to be selfless. I want my Zambian people to know that they can go forward in life with the skill that they possess. That is why I advocate for entrepreneurial skills development. With this skill, you can take yourself to the next level. As Zambia is moving forward, Miss Zambia is moving forward because we are a brand that represents our country. Thank you. Victoria, your question this evening is, what do you think is the greatest threat to young people? What do you think is the greatest threat to the young people in this generation right now? Thank you so much for that question. I feel the greatest threat for the young people in this generation is identity crisis. Looking at the amount of information that is given out there on social media. People or young, or young youths are failing to fully identify who they want to be. They are having the wrong inspirations. Young people are failing to be themselves. I think that is the greatest challenge they're facing.
Emma, your question is, what would you say is the biggest problem facing our educational system and why? Thank you very much for the question. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, judges, and thank you for the opportunity. I feel the biggest problem that the education system is facing today is the ability to place in the curriculum things that really matters to us. For example, human rights. The human rights have been placed in our curriculum, but this is not really shown in us. For example, we've been given the ability to enjoy free and fair elections. Children are not really taught about free and fair elections. The second point is, we have been given the ability to learn, but we don't have enough infrastructure to be placed in those schools. We don't have enough books. We don't have enough um, desks. So I feel in education, that is the biggest problem. Thank you. Angela, your question this evening is, what would you do to positively impact your community and why? Good evening once more, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier on in the competition, I did make a statement that I am a firm believer in social stability. Zambia has great potential. I come from a developing nation, but it is not by mistake that I was placed in this country. You see, if we are able to coexist, I promote human rights for a reason. People need to be treated fairly in our society. Of what good is the government to, to be putting social economic structures within our society when only a minute group is able to have access to it? So if I had the honor and privilege to change something in our community, I would promote more social stability. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Vanessa, your question this evening is, describe an ideal society. Thank you very much for that question. An ideal society is a society that has people who help each other, uplift each other in ways more than one. Through human, excuse me, through human resource and skills that they can impact on each other positively in order for us to develop as a country, as a community. Thank you. Another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for our top six. After this, we are going to leave it in the hands of the judges. They have to deliberate furthermore so that we could pick who will be crowned Miss Zambia tonight? Who do you think is going to take away the crown? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, come down. Thank you so much. So the ladies are going to walk off stage. And remember this year, we have been running under the theme, new game and new rules. And indeed, the ladies have showcased today, as you, can, you are able to tell that the ladies of every color, every body size has been represented on this stage. So one more time, a round of applause for our top six.
need that desire. Oh, oh. Number one in my life. Sinning that you say I can never forget you. No. Once I've been in the end, I've been on my phone. I only need it. Great. I remember my journey started on the 6th of November when I traveled all the way from Kasumbalesa to Lusaka to audition because the auditions were on the 7th of November. So I was called for the second audition. It wasn't really nice because like it was so nerve-wracking. My favorite moments at Miss Zambia were to meet the amazing girls from different circles of life. Um, who have been able to articulate issues differently. I've been able to learn things that I didn't know. But the most challenging part was when we were selected into groups and we had few um, tasks that we're doing. At a certain time, we were told to formulate um, policies. Um, making it through to Miss Zambia Grand Finale, I'm really overwhelmed, I'm grateful and humbled. It was a 50-50 thing. I really didn't know if I was going to make it to the finale or I was going to drop out or maybe eliminate it because I was put in a group of um, 20 girls who were really smart and really amazing. So we kind of, we were bonding because we were sharing different ideas. I really didn't think I was going to make it, but in some other way, I also thought I was going to make it because I was putting my time. And I believed in myself and I knew that I was in this to win this. I'm really happy that I've made it this far and hopefully, God willing, I get the crown. My journey in the Miss Zambia pageant has been a roller coaster ride. I've had my best moments and I've had my worst moments. 
Starting from the audition day, I didn't really think I was going to make it into top 20. The experience then was a little bit nerve-wracking. The questions, I'm glad I was able to handle everything at that time. The time they called us back, uh, they told us they were going to have a second audition. And then they put us in lines. I remember they told some of us that we didn't make it at that time. I remember breaking down and feeling really bad that I didn't actually make it to top 20. But then, hey, it was a prank at the end of the day. And from that moment on, I knew the opportunity was rare and that I had to put in my oar. Then we came to our first group challenge, which was um, to pitch in business ideas. That experience in itself was a little bit challenging for me because I had to be able to accommodate other people's opinions. I'm used to being the one airing out all the opinions and stuff, but I had to understand one thing. It was group work and I had to accommodate other people's opinions. And I also learned to keep my time. Not so many times a girl like me would actually make it to a top pageant like this one. But I am ready to give you everything that constitutes me on that final day. I think I have prepared myself for the longest time. It has been like 14 years when I watched uh, Miss World, but now I am in it, Miss Zambia pageant. And on the final day, um, I'm going to give it my best and give it my all. It hasn't been easy, but I'm not easy either. I'm bringing in my A game and everything I've learned I'm putting together is going to be a whole different experience altogether. And I think people should be ready for me because I have a lot to show. My journey on the road to Miss Zambia has been a roller coaster of emotions, really. Um, I'm so, I feel so blessed to have made it this far. And the challenges, wow. The challenges were quite something. I learned um, you can really ha achieve so much more if you like work together as a team. Hard work really pays off. So I was um, in one of the uh, winning teams, waste management. We won. <laughs> that was pretty exciting, you know. We, we really put in so much just so we could bring out the best presentation and we surely did the thing because we won. And then one of the other exciting challenges was the ones the one we had with Shodo. That was also quite interesting. To be honest, I <laughs> I wasn't feeling well on, on that particular day. You know, I was late, I was just not in you know, not in it, but the moment um, the camera was rolling, the moment I had to take my shoot, I just, I don't know what came over me and I was the winner of the challenge. I'm so proud of myself to have really made it this far. Really, I don't think I'll be the same person after this whole experience. It has really made me focus on what I want to aspire to be and what I want to contribute to the society even after this whole pageant. So I am definitely going to be a different person after this and I'm so, so proud. I am so overwhelmed with so much joy. It's been a very interesting journey for me. First of all, for a very, very long time, I knew that one day I would participate in Miss Zambia and I took it upon myself to prepare way before the pageant could actually restart. And when it actually restarted, auditions were amazing. I was kind of scared because actually they have a limit to height. <laughs> and when I saw the limit, I said, no, no. I am going whether I'm shorter than this. I'm actually 168 uh, and the limit was 170. So I said, no matter what, two uh, centimeters would not hinder me from being the next Miss Zambia. 
I know how much it took me to actually prepare for this. And during this journey, I met a lot of beautiful ladies. It has been really crazy somehow because I've never really been in a situation where we've had eliminations, like every challenge you're eliminated. So it was really new for me. And when they were eliminating, it was, I was really, I don't know, I was stuck in between. In as much as I felt I prepared, but there's just that element of, did I really do it? Um, is it me leaving today? <laughs> All the groups I was in actually won, like number one position. And I feel that's because we worked as winners, we worked together. We actually understood what teamwork was. So going ahead, I'm really excited because <laughs> I'm ready to carry this crown. I'm ready to go to the next step and next level and just show Zambia um, that I'm going to be a very responsible and great Miss Zambia. My journey through Miss Zambia has been an interesting one. Um, I think the most interesting part was getting to know the girls. So basically from the first day of auditions, I saw that there was a lot of competition. And that's what I thought. But the people who I thought were going to be picked were not picked in the first place. Then we were 20, then we were 12. So when we had our first challenge, my biggest lesson learned was cooperation. No one can work as an independent person and I, f I think the girls have really taught me that that's very important. Though I didn't win any prize, I still got away with that lesson. Uh, second challenge, same thing, different girls, I got to interact with them more and interacting with them made me discover more of who I am. Everyone is interdependent in this competition. The Miss Zambia brand is a really big brand and I just feel really grateful actually for making it this far. In the beginning I was confident and I knew I was going to make it this far. Now I'm getting to see how good my fellow beauty queens really are and the competition is getting tougher. But I'm still grateful to God for bringing me this far and let's see what happens. The journey has been really amazing. It has grown me into a strong and confident woman. It has given me a platform to showcase to the world what I'm about and what I want the world to know about me and some of the things that I feel should be brought attention to in our society. And regardless of what happens at the end of the day, I will always be a person that went through the journey of Miss Zambia. And should I become Miss Zambia? I know it's going to be a roller coaster again, but it will definitely be exciting. It will definitely be that brain that everyone wants to be a part of because that's the type of person that I am. I'm just a person who celebrates myself and allows people to be comfortable and grow from the type of person that I am. We understand the world has not been on a normal parallel for some time now. But we are sure of one thing. Life and business must go on carefully. Our business forms the basic part of our daily lifestyle. It is what pays our bills and keeps us smiling through the hard work we put out. It makes our families happy and secure. The medium and small scale business you own and manage mean a lot to us. As Mozo TV, we intend to reach out and help you stand firm during this period. Starting from Zambia and spreading to the rest of the world, we want to give you free commercial adverts. Play on our premium channel for a period of three months. Oh, great. Good news, right? We are affiliated with TV stations across four corners of the African continent, like Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, and Kenya. 
We are available on pay TV and free-to-air channels like Topstar. Mozo TV is sending you so much love this season. Reach out to us via our listed email and platforms on your screen. Book your brand now. Mozo TV, a truly refreshing experience. Starting 4th of January 2021, Mozo TV will bring to you a refreshing entertainment experience with a lineup of exciting content. Wake up to a great start every Monday morning with our energizing and refreshing Mozo Breakfast Cafe. Stay up to date with everything happening in your society by catching Community Lens every Tuesday. On Woman Crush Wednesday, we shine a light on women making strides in hills as we celebrate women in music. What would a Thursday be without a throwback? Join us every Thursday as we look back at some of the greatest moments in entertainment on our daily throwback show. Allow us to get you in party mode as you get jiggy with us by jamming to the latest Afro beats on Mozo Top 10 every Friday. After all the fun on Friday night, you are bound to wake up craving a meal. Learn how to make delicious meals by catching Born Hungry every Saturday. End your week filled with praise and thanksgiving by catching Gospelicious every Sunday. Mozo TV, a refreshing experience. The Oats Consultancy is a 360 management company operating in Zambia. It is the holding company of sister companies Oats Experience, Platinum Events and Mozo TV. Our vision is to build relevance, revenue and sustainability through a socially responsible business model. Through Oats Experience, we have launched a graduate project with help from our partners Access Bank and the National Youth Development Council, NYDC. We hope to award deserving students scholarships to aid them successfully attain their graduate studies. Through Mozo TV, our company has and continues to give back to the community through the Giving Back campaign. This campaign, with the help of society, identifies those people that need help in our communities. With the little help we have, we spread love and cheer by helping out these persons and families. Under Platinum Events, we support the arts industry and push for the uplifting of art and entertainment in Zambia. From the Africa Hip Hop Awards to the prestigious Miss Zambia, we ensure that the youth have a safe place to showcase their talent. Imagine learning and earning points and rewards by doing your work with your kids at home. Your kids can play, you can play, everyone can play. What's going on with the two of you? You've been on the phone too much lately. Mommy, it's just homework. Let me show you. You can assess homework on your web, or you can download the app on your mobile phone. The homework comes with unlimited educational content starting from primary to high school level. This is not for kids only. Parents, you... game and everything I've learned I'm putting together is going to be a whole different experience altogether and I think people should be ready for me because I have a lot to show. Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Zambia 2020. <laughs> The Miss Zambia 2020. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Miss Zambia 2020. Team by Panel 
Lord, one more time. Yeah. I know you got the feeling. I know you feel it. You love the feeling. I wonder how long you'll be there. Right by my side, how long will you be there? Once you come me, no breaking up. She can't live alone, me not get enough. Who see your pocket that is off? She can't live alone, me not get enough. Party when you wanna come out. Future, your certificate go up. Park at your bed, no one not to park up. Back it up slow Show you a few things That I bet you didn't know If you let love Just take control How does it go whoa, whoa. This is not your regular Yeah we like to keep it Undercover Here's my baby love Give me that feeling So special I'm his kind of girl And he my kind of man Treat me like royalty We got some future plans I'll be like ooh Ah Loving how you're doing What you do Now nah, Love it how you tell me Come close My miss boss uh, He know it's time He know it's mine Love it like water Pass me the water Dance for me, baby, manga, who land the water? Hey. Nabela, Jota, pass me the water. Dance for me, baby, manga, who land the water? From the first that you came in my life, can you give me favor? You are my everything, my chili pepper. Who go ba fiti, we? Who go ba fiti? They go ba who got it? Ba na bande. Hey, I got a remedy for love and passion. Two babies, I've been man to man. Get down for me, girl. I love you when you do it for me. Get down for me, girl. I love you when you do it for me. Uptown beats. Grab it like water, pass me the water. gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for has finally arrived. However, before we get into that, I would just like to make mention and thank our sponsors from Zambia 2020, My Ride Zambia, Namayo at Work, Zambian Lotto, Shodor Beauty Cosmetics, and Minor Hotels. So the winner for the Miss Zambia 2020 pageant will walk away with the following prizes. So they will receive a 20 by 30 piece of land in McKinney West, courtesy of Namayo at work. The winner will also become the face of Shodor Beauty Cosmetics and brand ambassador during her reign. She will also receive a fully stocked cosmetic pageant package, I beg your pardon, plus one media refill worth 5,000 kwacha courtesy of Shodor Beauty Cosmetics. The winner will also become brand ambassador for My Ride Zambia during her reign. 
She will also have the privilege and access to chauffeur-driven transportation services to official appearances, events, and campaigns courtesy of My Ride Zambia. And last but not the least, the winner will also, will also walk away with the prize of two nights accommodation at Zambia's prestigious Royal Livingstone Hotel. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, with that said, please help me welcome the National Director for the Miss Zambia Beauty Pageant, Miss Elizabeth Mwanza, to do us the honor. Job well done, Sue. Can everybody please give Sue a big clap for a job well done tonight? Yes, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out and supporting us tonight. I thought uh, you all can't go home without me giving you a vote of thanks. Indeed, 2020 has been a different year for all of us. And even when we decided to do the Mizambe, it was out of let's end the year on a different note and on a happy note let's quickly put together a Miss Zambia so we put together this pageant within two months only not because we wanted to have the usual event but we thought that after what everybody has been through at least let us end on a good note and on a happy note and that is why <laughs> that is why when we even advertised for the Miss Zambia this year we said new game new rules it wasn't about the height anymore. It wasn't about the size anymore. We just said, let's give every Zambian girl an opportunity to enter. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The judges have spoken, and we do have a winner. Thank you very much to our sponsors who came in last minute. I'd like to thank Namayo at work, who have sponsored a piece of land a 30 by 20 in the prestigious McKenney West. After all, what is a Miss Zambia if she does not have a title in her own country? We would like to thank Zambian Lotto for their continuous support of the Miss Zambia for the last five years. Would like to thank Shadow Cosmetics. Would love to thank My Right Zambia. And would love to thank minor hotels who have sponsored a lovely holiday at the prestigious Royal Livingston. Without our partners, this day would not have been possible. And for us as the Miss Zambia pageant, most of all, would love to thank Platinum Events and Mozo TV who have powered this whole event. We have been live on TV. Although you have been getting the gaps here, your Family and friends who are watching it from home did not get to see those gaps because it was filled with adverts and clips and so forth. So thank you very much for your support. Wishing you a happy new year and a blessed 2021. So at this point in time, let's have our finalists. Bon appétit. Mm. Yeah. 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 Fishy mwa shoka, teshu komano mwa shoka Nishila ni ufungo kwa mwa shoka Mbane tule atule kulaka Katwishe fuba sheta Na mpodi momano ya chepa Fetefi ya mbabonse tula pepa Shiba tuka tule atule kulaka How you want it to sound? Two years Graji kachila padi two years Kushitani bafanga basha Neva kupala mika banda ndasha Noti andi teo wanga ngasha Atinta isu la kunu mokumbasha Ubuntu nga wane kare tuapoka Ika kule nshi mbise la fofoka Muvo na kashita na kasela Tola mama na kashimika dipela Na liufwa tule isuka isuka Kulamba muka nwa suka ipuka Naifansa tule ipusha itupa Bafintu ala tule atule kulaka Fishy mwa shoko, teshu komano mwa shoko Nishila ni ukungo komwa shoko Mbane tule atule kulaka Katwishe fuba sheta Na mpodi momano ya chika Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once more 
our finalists for the Miss Zambia 2020 and going into 2021. We will announce uh, Miss Personality first. Miss Personality is selected by the girls themselves. This is the person who probably got on with everybody, was friends with everybody, and she's voted by her own colleagues. So Miss Personality 2020 is Larissa. Well done, Larissa. So now we're going to go backwards. We'll start, we'll start with the second princess, first princess, and then the winner. Today's scores are a collection of two pre-judging and uh, stage scores as well. And then we come up with our final scores. Ladies, you're all winners. And I hope that uh, you know that you're all perfect and you're all winners at the end of the day, no matter the circumstances. At the end of the day, there can only be one Miss Zambia. And it's not that she is the best, but because it is her time. Starting with our second princess. Our second princess for Miss Zambia 2020 is Victoria Mulengula. Well done, well done, uh, Victoria. Congratulations. First princess, Miss Zambia 2020. The role of the first princess is larger. If anything should happen to the winner, should the winner resign, should the winner not be able to do her role, then the first princess would be then put in her position. The first princess, Miss Zambia 2020, is Angela Mavenga. The moment you have all been waiting for. The Miss Zambia 2020 going into 2021 is, drum roll please, <laughs> Miss Zambia 2020 is Vanessa Chinyemba.
promoting the ladies. Look at me, man, I never lose focus. I left academics like Joe Burdens. My relatives went like four cousins. But I'm back again. I got shows again. I got hoes again. I don't touch them though, cause I'm born again. Can't hunt you, sleep grammar. Yeah, we met Van Damme, I'm a street father. Last year I went so hard, the band power. <laughs> Literally the band power. But still, my doom, but the fool of his power. We get into the back, watch tower. I remember that. Nico Mugabat. Ladies, can we take pictures? Supporting every single person. Thank you so much to everyone in the audience for buying the ticket and supporting the ladies. Please keep supporting every talent that each and every single person has. Identify these talents in your daughters, your nieces, your dependents at home. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the show. Have a lovely evening. Good night. <laughs> See ya, Palelo! Look at me, man, I never lose focus. I left academics like Joe Burdens. My relatives went like four cousins. But I'm back again. I got shows again. I got hoes again. I don't touch them though, cause I'm born again. Can't hunt you, sleep grammar. Yeah, we met Van Damme, I'm a street father. Last year I went so hard, the band power. <laughs> Literally the band power. But still, my doom, but the fool of his power. We get into the back, watch tower. I remember those. Nico Mugabat. Benezo Pempa Bonse Bonzo Yangana Kumbuyo Niku Mbuka Pansa Benezo Kona Pansa Inne Kufa Na Pepo Niku Mbuka Pansa Benezo Pita Bonse Muna Niku Niseka Inbe Mona Ana Benangu Yese Positive Bena Yese Negative Antika Future Kako Kuri Bebe Kae Exclusive from Africa. <laughs> Designers kindly 
get ready to get pictures, designers, designers, our designers, kindly please come on stage and get pictures with the ladies. After that, a representative from the sponsors could also come through. Designers now, thank you, Vanessa is dressed by Julian. This is our designer. The Miss Zambia 2020. Designer. <laughs> Designers, we have more designers.